How's it going everybody? Welcome to episode 65 of the Summer Shredding Prep Series. Today's video, we got a back day. Uh, we will not be deadlifting because we are 11 days out from our competition. So we are literally just about to enter peak week. This is where everything is coming together. Everything is great. And uh, to be honest, vibes could not be higher. I actually feel really good in a really good mood today. No distractions. Yes, per usual, I worked out a little bit earlier, but we are going to go through a whole back workout today. No deadlifts, as I said before. Vibes are good, life is good, we are good. Let's kill this workout. So um, first movement is going to be cable low row. Trying it with the double attachments this time. Low key, I kind of like it because I can get a little bit better of an angle, just a little bit more of like a rotate as I'm pulling. Um, not that the this one, like the perfectly vertical one's good, but I don't want to pull super narrow like this. When you're doing a back movement, you kind of want it to be in line with the sort of lines of your lats. So like you want to be a shoulder width rip when you're pulling but unfortunately they don't have an attachment like that here so you kind of just got to make do with what you got and uh, those allow me to get a little bit of a wider grip as I'm pulling so I do like those that's what I like using so that is first we're just gonna do a nice little three by eight heavy in control remember only flex forward and then pull After cable rows, we are going to do the high lat pull down machine. Um, this one probably gonna be a four by 12. That's what I'm feeling today. I think I'm gonna go a little bit lighter than usual. 12 reps, rep it out, get a good feeling, get a good stretch up here, then pull down. Um, and then obviously go with the widest grip you can because it's the same thing as the low row you don't want to be as super narrow. You never want to have a narrow grip. You want to be as wide as possible in back movements. Not as wide as possible, but wide as your shoulders width. Okay, so after the high lat row machine, we're gonna go with the low row machine. Um, three by eight, I'm feeling heavy. Actually today I did a four by eight when I actually worked out. Um, four by eight, go heavy. You can go heavy. Have your same leg positioned as the arm you're doing, because we're doing single arm. Have the same leg forward. And make sure to get just a little bit upper back rotation before you pull. Um, that's gonna get you a really nice feeling and a really nice pump. So, highly recommend it. But, let's get to it.
So last movement. Well, rows are solid. I love those. That machine's just really nice. Like, you get a really good range of motion, really good feel. I'm a big fan. But uh, last movement, lat pull downs. We all know how to do these. Um, definitely a fave. Definitely something I really like. Um, pretty short workout, to be honest. Four movements, but you know, this close to show day, can't be going crazy. You know, that's kind of my mindset. I just don't want to risk anything. We look good. I'm really happy with how we look. Then we feel really good. So more is not always better. Train efficiently, train heavy, and practice will come. So um, really looking forward to training after the show's over, to be honest. So I'm just like so psyched to get a lot of food and fuel in me and just train really freaking heavy um, and make some gains, like hit some PRs and stuff. I miss hitting PRs. But uh, yeah, last movement's gonna be lat pull downs and that'll be it for the workout. So I'll see you then. So lap pull downs are done. That is gonna be the end of the workout for us. Four movements in totality. Really good workout. I mean, back day is like one of those where it's more about the range of motion and the movements you're doing and executing properly. Um, because if you know how to hit a back movement the right way, the best way, the most optimal way, just as anything else, like you're gonna have like the most efficient workout. And I think any back movement that you are reaching Four is just gonna be the most optimal. It's gonna be the best and you can get a really solid back workout on just a few machines and cables and you don't have to do any crazy free weights or any insane compounds with back movements. I think machines are definitely underrated. Like a lot of people are gonna choose a barbell row. I don't really think it's worth it um, in comparison to any cable or machine row. You're just able to execute with more weight more efficiently and get a nice long stretch during the movement too. So I don't know, that's my two cents. So we're gonna proceed with posing. Um, probably gonna go in the group fitness room. It's a little busy right now. So um, we're gonna finish up the posing, see how we look 11 days out from our first competition. So let's get it. So that's it for posing. Um, pretty good, pretty solid. I think we looked better yesterday. Um, that could just be because, sorry, I hope you can still hear me. Um, we looked better yesterday, but that's probably because I didn't sleep much today. Um, I stayed up until, man, I think it was like three in the morning. I was responding, finally responding to comments on Instagram. And I remember I clocked in I think it was like 124. 124 was when I started. Um, and I remember stopping at like 236 or something like that. Um, it took me like an hour, and like over an hour just to get back to comments on I think eight posts, which is nuts. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of comments. And that was my bad because I was slacking hella with responding, um, which I never do, to be honest. I literally never do. I am always very good um, with responding to comments on Instagram. I always try and respond to everything every night, but recently I've just been so busy and with editing for YouTube, filming, all that stuff, I spend a lot of my nights very lengthy 
at the gym. Um, I spent a lot of time at the gym, um, which is cool, it's always great. Love the gym, love the people at the gym. I, I'm sorry for not being in frame right now. Um, but yeah, I spent a lot of time in the gym and not a lot of time on Instagram. So I mainly just go on there to post and get to people who tags me as posts. And that's about it. So I do apologize for that, but it won't happen again. I'll get back to everybody's posts and everything every single time from now on moving forward. Maybe close to show day, I might miss one or two, but I'll get back to them eventually. But yeah, um, still apologies for not responding to YouTube comments. Um, I will get back to those one day. I don't know when. Maybe it'll be tonight. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate the heck out of you. If you could please drop a like and a comment, those help me a ton. Feel free to drop a sub. Check out the drip, the Hokage drip. Anyways, um, feel free to drop a sub. Those help a ton. It's always appreciated. If you want to see more of my content and see me transform my body until show day, feel free to drop a sub. Um, we got 11 days. As of this recording, it'll be 10 days, like once you see this video, but this is the 11 days out video. Um, so it's pretty crazy. We are almost freaking there. So um, yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. As always, have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and have yourselves a damn good one.